everyone, it's Margaret, and this is a reading vlog! I was really enthusiastic. I'm having a moment. We've had a day. Uh, so, today is the first day of Vaultathon. I'm so excited! Ah! It's going, okay, it's going so well. For, like, I mean, at least I've got my co-host interacting with me. Alright, what am I reading right now? We'll talk about that. I forgot that I still need to grab some of the books. We've had to make some adjustments to the TBR. We got rid of the manga because the Manga Monday Book Club is on hold until January. So, I've already read Winter. Winter. It came in at my library way early. And the due date was today. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to finish that entire book in one day. Considering that I had 12 hours to listen to. Um, so that didn't happen. So instead, we're gonna replace it. We're replacing it with something. I don't remember what we're replacing it with. I'll get there. When we get there, I'll get there. Like, obviously, I am reading Renegades. This is our group book. I have gotten 26 pages in because I was reading it for some of our sprints while I was at home. Um, I'm trying out a new method of, like, annotating stuff. I made the mistake of not having one for things that made me laugh, and, like, I really do need one for things that made me laugh. So we'll take that we'll remember that for next time but um I have one for shipping moments one for my favorite quotes one for world building I think I'm gonna end up combining the orange and the green one next time I do this one for Nova one for Adrian other supers and then like questions and observations and so yes that's that's how it goes oh, and obviously one for funny see how that goes I currently have a seven tab system that I use um and I'm not entirely sure I like how that works. I want to try out this system where I highlight specific characters, especially since I have tabs that I can do up to 10 different types of tabs in addition to the ones that I normally do. I think I'm also going to try and read High Society by Ali Carter. This is the one for Nerd School, the Dynamic Friend Group. Oh yeah, Renegades is I'm is going to be counting for San Francisco, futuristic setting, friend group. For Replacing Winter, which is supposed to be my, my pick for being a book about the fa family, I'm going to be reading The Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, Brawl in the Family. Family is in the title, so obviously there's going to be family... Come back here. Obviously there's going to be family involved. It's, it's, it's a spider family. It's Pete and MJ and their daughter, and they have... They all have powers. I'm like, yes, this is... This is my jam. Mary Jane Watson with powers, yes. Also going to be reading There's Something About Sweetie. I hopefully, because... I have the audiobook for this and it's time it's about time I read it. I think there's some fake dating or something so this is going to count for my book about a secret. So for read a book about an unconventional hero which was supposed to be fulfilled by Death Note I'm going to be reading Vision by Tom King uh, and illustrated by someone who I don't know. Uh, it's the first one is a little worse than a man. And finally I've also been reading Enchanté by Gina Trelise. This is my current audiobook. This is the book that is a recommended by a friend. Um, Big Hero 6 was the prompt. I don't know. I, it's my readathon, but I don't remember any of the prompts. Anyways, so that's what I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I hate both of her siblings. I hate them both. Like, her brother is awful, and her sister is a moron. And so annoying. I'm just like, can, can they both just die and let her do her thing? Like, she'd be so much better off without either of them, in my opinion. Her sister is going to cause so much trouble and I am not here for it. And her brother's already causing so much trouble and I am definitely not here for it. But I am really enjoying it. This is like set in Marie Antoinette's France. I'd be interested to see if she, um, because like Marie Antoinette's most famous line, let them eat cake, was actually a fabrication. Um, she never said that. And Marie Antoinette was actually very, very involved in helping the poor at the beginning. Um, it was a little bit harder as it got more dangerous for her to go out as people started to dislike her um, but she was foreign and so she was a great target for all of the people who hated her. I'm going to link a video down below by Magical Molly because it was fabricated, a lot of it was made up because she was a convenient target. So that's all I have to say right now. Now, Okay, I want to talk about the puppeteer and how he's a Joker analog and how he gets treated exactly how DC should be treating the Joker because weird. There are spoilers, by the way, in this video. If you haven't read, met Don Renegade, well, this is like the first three or four chapters. Uh, he is not treated seriously, like with any seriousness. He is ridiculous as can be, and he is creepy. Like, they don't act like he's some big bad, like, bad guy. Sorry. Like, they don't act like he is on par with the Dread Warden and Captain Chromium. They're just like, oh, he's this ridiculous figure 
that gets thrown out of a balloon and captured. That's how the Joker should be treated, guys. We should not be taking him seriously. We shouldn't be ta making movies about him. He is not the best Batman bad guy by a long shot. So it's Wednesday. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Margaret, well, did you not daily vlog your own readathon? Well, you know, you know what? Tuesdays just don't exist. Let's just pretend like that. Um, Tuesday just didn't happen, okay? That's what's happening. I spent it editing videos, and I'm gonna spend the rest of today editing videos and not getting much read. So, where are we in various books? So, nothing got read of Renegades yesterday. Wait a minute, I did get a lot read because audiobooks, that's right, because I did sprints. Oh, okay, so I haven't completely been failing. It's fine. Um, I'm at about a page 126 on Renegades. And I love it just as much as the last time. I've, I've started, like, highlighting stuff that I want to discuss in the live show. So, uh, the girls are going to have, we're going to have a fun time talking about some of this stuff. Because so much of it is just talking about, like, that's the interesting thing to me is so much of this book is talking about what people do with power and how they react to power. And that's just such a fascinating, like, you give people superpowers and you have some people who end up being really good people and wanting to use it for the right reasons and all that. But you also have some people, which we're dealing with right now with this point in the book, and I really, I just want these characters to die. And, um, I hope, oh, I can't, spoilers, but, <sighs> yes. If you know who I'm talking about, you know what that's about. But that's as spoilery as it's going to get in this at, the, at this moment. Um, I'm trying to be purposely vague because I want people to be able to watch this without dealing with spoilers. But, like, you also have people who are so entitled and so, like, they see their powers not as a privilege but as, like, I guess a right, as something that they are given because it makes them... As something... There we go. And they see their powers as something that makes them better than everyone else. And they see being, re being a renegade as something that makes them inherently better than anyone else. Like, they don't actually have to be good people because they're renegades. And so that's just fascinating to me that some people kind of... They take that. They will get some sort... They will see power as them being a good person and decide that they don't have to be good. Like... Okay, wow. Speaking of weird powers, I finished Enchante by Gita Trelis. It is Gita, not Gita, because I did not know this, but she is half Indian. I don't remember where I found that out, but it was like on, I think it might be. Oh, it's in the back of the book. That's where I figured it out. So, it's fine. Anyways, I finished it. I think I'm giving it three stars. I don't know. I'm kind of between three and four stars at this point. Um, if I did half stars I'd give it a three and a half stars so I'm just trying to decide what it is because I really really enjoyed it and the thing I enjoyed the most about it was the romance her sister got better and then her sister got worse and I still would have been fine with both of her siblings dying because they don't deserve her okay that's how it goes um and it was it was pretty predictable it went about how I thought it was going to be but I really enjoyed the ride the only thing that like I felt like the wrap-up at the end was a little too easy. Like, I'm sitting there going, we are going into the freaking French Revolution. And where the character is in this moment, I'm just like, you gonna die. You gonna, you gonna get guillotined? Guillotined? Guillotined. I can't. We finished that audiobook, and so we are now moving on to something about Sweetie. I am 37 pages in here, and I, I love this woman's writing so 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 much i'm on page 37 i have had a stitch like everywhere except for the part where sweetie is talking with her mom and that just made me sad um just seeing how much like fat shaming and diet culture is a part of our culture and how it's imposed itself on people's lives like that just like i know that is the main conflict of the book for sweetie and it just makes me sad. It makes me sad that she has to go through that and that her mom talks about her like that and makes her feel the way that she makes her feel. It makes me feel very sad. Um, however, Ashish's chapters, oh my goodness, this child is such a dweeb. I love him so much, but he's such a mess. I just like, listen, at this point, Zendaya Manon is an autobi author because I have absolutely loved all of her books that I've read. And they've had, they, they put me in stitches, especially the audiobooks. Like the audiobooks are so good because I don't have to worry about how anything is pronounced. Um, and this one especially has a lot more, um, I don't know which language it is, but one of the Indian languages in it, it has a lot more of that, which I am perfectly fine with because Zendaya Manon is really good at 
communicating what the people are saying through context without having to do direct translations and for more books about other cultures and being unapologetic about the fact that you're not going to understand everything like there was a frick ton of french in enchante and no one's raising their eye at that but i know people are out there saying that there's too much of something and i'm gonna go figure out what language it is that Sandhya Manon is using in this so that I can say the proper language, but there's too much of some Indian language in the, the, this book. That's what the word is. I can't even speak English. I need to go and finish editing my Booknet Fest slash Orlando vlog. It mostly was an Orlando vlog. Uh, mostly me at Universal. It wasn't a lot of Booknet Fest. I didn't talk about a lot of Booknet Fest except for like a little bit in the middle and the end. So anyways, I'm gonna go do that. And then hopefully there will be some time for me to read before I have to go hang out with my friends. I mean, I don't have to go hang out with my friends, but it is healthy for people to hang out together and like me not to be in the house my entire life. I haven't gotten all that much more reading done. I've gotten a few more pages in uh, Sweetie while I was driving to my friend's house and uh, I love this book so much. We're like, I don't know, 50, 50 something pages in. Nita Patil is going on my list of favorite parents of all time in all in, in you know fictional parents fictional parents obviously also i did some digging went on google translate and stuck in some of the stuff that is said in the book and it is hindi that they are speaking i wasn't 100 percent sure about that but i am now i'm ready to physically fight someone by the way for the way people are talking to sweetie um no you should not be able to talk to people like that i just i don't understand i don't understand my mother raised me better than that she raised me to at least keep it in my head when I thought things like that. So rude. And like, especially now that I'm like, wait a minute, like I know so much of what is being said to her is wrong, medically. Like, anyways. Um, also, if you, it, it's, it's one of the saddest things to see is that like, Sweetie is aware that like, uh, the way people are talking to her is wrong, but she still, uses some of it in her like her own personal thought life like she still calls herself some of the things that you know ruder people would say like most of the stuff that's been said is not rude it's kind of in the um well it is rude but it's in the more in the like trying to be concerned for her vein um and like she's a lot harsher on herself than than they are honestly which is you know that's how it works we're always harsher on ourselves but um yeah i am ready to physically fight someone would it be a Margaret vlog if we did not come to the library at some point? Um, so I'm supposed to be hanging out with a friend later on tonight. So rather than going home and then coming back out and all of that, um, cause we'll be hanging out earlier than I hang out with my other friends. Uh, cause she does not have children yet. So she does not have to deal with bedtimes yet. Um, but anyways, uh, one of the, just basically it saves gas money. And so I'm going to be at the library and we're going to edit a video and then I'm going to read. Um, I'm gonna read Renegades because I'm way behind. But I have been listening to There's Something About Sweetie and I absolutely, oh, I love it. I just, I love it. I love Sweetie. I love Ashish. I love everything about it. Oh, side note. Um, So the Patels speak Hindi and I don't have it with me. So I can't look up what the language that Sweetie's family speaks. So they speak a different language. Interesting that she has both of those in there. Like, I, I like that fact. I like that it, it kind of gives you more of the culture it's so funny because ashish is so cocky and like confident but at the same time he's really sweet and insecure and like there need to be more boys like this boy like he's a disaster but he's also really sweet and wonderful and i love him uh he is my son i have adopted him i need to stop adopting fictional characters i already have enough of the fictional children um, anyways, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get the editing that I need to get done, done, because the video is supposed to go up tomorrow. Ah, it's fine. Um, I'm actually a little further ahead than I normally would be, so that's great. And then I have to, I don't remember what video I'm doing for Sunday. I think I'm, am I doing an unboxing? I think I'm doing the unboxing. Speaking of unboxings, I got approved to be a Book of the Month YA affiliate. So that means that um, I will have a link down in my description box. I've been looking at maybe getting a book subscription box. The way Book of the Month YA works is every month you get five different options and you get to choose which one you want. You can add other books on on top of that. So there will be a link in my description box um, along with any other, if there's like any other special codes that come up before I post this video, I will make sure that they are down there. 
Um, but basically, you get you you get one book, and you don't have to deal with all the extraneous stuff if you don't want all the extraneous stuff. Um, and it's a new YA release. You get a small commission for this, so like it'd be nice to have to have another way to bring in money since I am trying so hard to pay down debt, and I am looking at um, like I'm looking at second jobs and stuff like that. So it would be it's it's nice to have that kind of passive income stream I guess um so like listen guys I love doing this and I will continue doing this for free but like getting paid is nice too so if you were looking if you were looking for a channel that is like I don't do sponsorships this is not the channel guys not the channel I love this book so much Ashish is like possibly the best teenage boy to have ever no wait ah but if I say that then that's mean because Rishi was really good, but he also has issues. So I don't want to say that his brother is a, the best teenage boy to ever teenage boy. But, like, they're both really cute in different ways. And, like, just fantastic as characters. And I love it. Like, he is so... He's so sweet. And he, like, puts on this great front. And he's got lots of confidence. But he also is re relatable enough to be insecure. And I love it. And Sweetie is just fantastic. And I love her. And she is... Oh, they're both so, it's so funny because they're both insecure, but for different reasons. And it's really interesting to see that kind of play, but they're also very honest with each other, which I really like this kind of plot where she's dating him for her own reasons. He's dating her for her own reasons, for, for his own reasons. Like they each have reasons for dating each other that are not like we want to be with this person specifically, but like wanting to prove stuff to themselves and to other people. Um, like they're very honest with each other about that. And I really like that. I think that's really good. Uh, because this could be one of those where, like, there's a whole lot of miscommunication and one of those comes out as a great big secret and that's not what this plot is about. Um, I mean, I'm sure some of it's going to play into it, but I'm about halfway through. I'm going to go, I have to go into Walmart and do some grocery shopping because it is Friday, which means I have money. And so, yeah, there's that. And then I've read a little bit of Renegades today while I was sitting, waiting at the chiropractor. But I'm probably going to spend a lot of tonight reading Renegades and trying to get caught up. Because I don't know how much reading I'm going to, like, I have to... I have to be done with this dumb book by Sunday. I also need to find somewhere that has um, Big Hero 6. Just in case I cannot rent it. I think I'm going to rent it on like Amazon Prime or YouTube or something. So I don't have to deal with like getting time in front of it. Because that's right in my parents' Prime TV watching time. and like According to Bookly, it is going to take me seven more hours to finish this bad boy. So what's going to happen is I'm going to just try not to fall asleep while I read in bed. And we're going to do our best to prove Bookly wrong. <laughs> oh boy. It's fine. Everything's fine. Because I still want to get to... I still have so much stuff I want to get to this week. And it is Friday night. So, about that. Update time. Um, we have reached the 250 page mark, which means that we have more that we have read than that we have to go. So that's good. It's still 250 pages. So, like, not that much. I think... Bookly was probably kind of accurate in their estimation. Um, I took a little bit of break from reading and watched some YouTube. Um, and then did some Twitter. But I'm going to go grab myself some a drink. I need some more water. I'm out of water. Uh, and then I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to continue reading this book. I would like to be able to start Heist Society tomorrow. Um, because I know that one's one that I can read in a few hours. Because I've done it before. <sighs> It was funny. I was having to, I was trying to figure out what my top five favorite books were. And like, literally I'm over there picturing that shelf behind the fan. I'm picturing that in my mind. And like, I really wanted to say Gallagher Girls was my favorite because I think I love that series more than I love the Heist Society series, but I still feel Heist Society is the stronger first book. So I said Heist Society as my favorite instead of saying, I'd tell you I love you, but then I'd have to kill you, which is a title and in and of itself. Um, but, mm, I need to reread that series too. Really, I should be rereading that. Can I, can I, sub, can I substitute Gallagher Girls for Heist Society? Probably. So, we came to the library to try and edit a video, but as it turns out, the video did not transfer from my memory card to my Google Drive. So now I have to go back and get my memory card and I guess I'll work at home. <laughs> Which is fine. I feel like a nap anyways. So maybe I'll take a nap and then we'll work some more. Um, got the new haircut done 
it is oh it's uh, now that it's dry it looks a lot better than it did when it was kind of wet um, I think I might still refresh the curl a little bit but she she noticed a difference between the last time she'd had my hair and this time she's like yeah whatever you're doing is working I was like oh I started using a co-wash instead of regular shampoo most days of the week <laughs> Last night, I finished Renegades finally. Look at this, look at how gorgeous this is. I love it so much. Like, listen, there is nothing that makes me happier than having a favorite book that is completely tabbed up. For some reason, I'm not doing it with Galaga World at the moment, but we'll get there. Oh, I love this book so much, and it took so much of my strength not to just like jump right into Arch Enemies right away. I was like, but then I won't have Supernova, so I'm waiting until October, which granted is in like a week. So I don't have that long to wait. That needs to go in the trash. There we go. That's fixed. So many questions and theories and stuff that, oh man, I'm going to be talking about in the live show. Like, and it's not even like, I barely remember the events of Arch Enemies. So it's not even that I'm going to be all that spoilery about it. Like, I'm just like, all of these questions. I have, I have theories about Adrian's dad. And I feel like that's going to be a big thing in Supernova because it hasn't been, it hasn't really been talked about, but then he talks about like, like, it's only talked about, like, once in this book, uh, where it talks about, like, what his mom said the story was. And I'm just sitting there going, like, I didn't notice it the first time, but this time I'm like, that sounds like a cover story. It sounds like something his mom made up because she didn't want him to know who his dad really was. I have theories. I have thoughts. I probably am wrong, but I have thoughts. I think I know who it is. And I think that it's going to be tied to his, his mom's murder, if you know what that means. I think I figured out also why no one came to... If, if Ace wasn't lying about the renegades saying they were going to protect Nova's family, I think I know why they didn't show up now. I have a theory about how his mom's, Adrian's mom's death and her parents' death, I think they're connected in a way. But I'm not going to talk about that yet. You'll have to, like, if you, if you want to know all of that stuff, all of those spoilery thoughts, just watch the live show, okay? Okay? Yeah, do that. Getting on to the addition that you will see on my, my shelf down there, I've added um, Sendai Manon to my favorites shelf because this might be the perfect book. I mean, like, not, not the only perfect book. There are several that I'm just like, the way that this ends, the way that this book was written, there are several that I'm like, this, this is, this is maybe not a perfect book. Maybe the perfect book doesn't exist, but this is a perfect for me book. I absolutely adored this. Also, don't listen to it when you're standing in line at the supermarket because, like, I was listening to the last few chapters and they're very, very, they just get you right here. And so then we, it just, having to keep my cool while listening to this book and not seem like a crazy person standing in a supermarket line that was that was what we were doing finally doing a review of this book this is getting a fresh reads friday at some point in my life i have to i have like three that i need to edit first uh but it is this was just such a good book ashish is a disaster but he's also so sweet and like he made poor choices in places but also I understood why he made those choices. I just thought, like, like as an like as a teen, I might have made those same choices. As an adult, I was like, no, that's a that's a bad choice. Um, it also, like, listen, you this book proves that you do not have to have super crazy high stakes for a book to be good because this was good despite the fact that there was no life or death consequences. This was good despite the fact that like things things were not as like 
I don't want to say they resolved easily because you have a whole book building up to that, but like it wasn't this great climactic fight. It was one conversation and people like actually looking at each other and paying attention to what the other person is saying and taking that in. And I really appreciated that because like, listen, I needed a sweet, happy, fluffy book. And that was this. Also, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. This is the best, this might have the best mute cute that I have ever, ever, ever read in my entire life. I got five stars, I love it. Renegades, Renegades also got five stars, by the way, in case anyone's wondering, but um, I just love it so much. I do, and I would still, I would still physically fight people for Sweetie Nair. I would, I would. So fight people for Ashish Patel, but um, like I definitely would fight people. So many times I wanted to throw hands at people in this book. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, so that's funny because I say that, but I would never actually. I'm horrible at confrontation. I just I I shut down, and so nothing would happen. But far we have completed the prompts for a book with a futuristic setting, a book that's about family and a book that a friend has recommended. So that's three books that we have completed for this readathon. I have three more prompts to complete in one single day. This should be fun, guys. Um, so I have moved on. I didn't, I decided not to pick up Heist Society because I wanted, I was just in a, like, I did my favorites video yesterday. And so I was just in a mood to talk about Gallagher Girls or not talk about, but to read them. I was just in the mood to read this. And so I picked it up. I was like, like, I, I literally pulled Heist Society off the shelf, was like, I don't know, I kind of want to read Gallagher Girls. And oh my goodness, this is, we had a moment last night because I could have sworn that I read this series in high school. In my mind, I remember reading all three of them, the first three books around the same time. And then um, like, but I, 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 I can't have, because I know I read this book, at least this book and the second book when I was still at home before I went off to Gainesville. Um, and this came out in 2006, which is the year I graduated high school. So that was, so I'm assuming I read this and that, that my first year of college when I was finishing up my AA, and then I must have, like, like the math just doesn't work for me to have read them the way I remember reading them, but at the same time, like, like, like this is a key moment in my reading life that I remember, and I'm, like, I, I was have, I had an existential crisis last night, guys, because my memory is not great, apparently, and I'm remembering things wrong. At least I know <laughs> that, um, only the good spy young, at least I know that only the Good Spy Young did like like that experience. That experience I know was authentic because I remember finding it at Walmart uh, after I graduated from college. So I remember that part, and I am correct about that part because it came 46 pages in to this book. Um, it's fine. It's great. Uh, I also have two more prompts after that. This is going to this is going to count for my book with a dynamic friend group which is, has been made i have scheduled tweets so we're gonna sit down and we're gonna we're gonna take the dust jacket off first because we don't need that that can go back on the shelf um we're gonna sit down with the book and we're gonna read some stuff mm -hmm. uh we'll see i've got let's see i've got about two and a half hours of this sprint session left so tweet deck is, is is wonderful two and a half hours left let's see how much of this i can read in two and a half hours i completely forgot that cammy meets her first boyfriend or her first I'm not sure if it's a meeting because they don't actually talk, but they see each other. Uh, he catches her dumpster diving, and it's hilarious uh, because she's she's on a mission. Anyways, so they keep referring to this boy as Cammy's soulmate, and I'm just like dying right now because I've read book two and three and four and five and six, and so I know that is not true, so not true. But oh. <laughs> This is just, like, <laughs> I love the fact that their automatic, like, the place they jump is this random boy saw Cammy and thought she was pretty, like, he noticed her and therefore he must also be a covert operative. <laughs> These girls need, like, to do something other than spy school. You know... On second thought, this is exactly the kind of help I need getting a guy. They have got this planned down to a T. Like, Allie, where do I get the Gallagher girls to help me get a date? Yeah? Yeah, please? We've done the live show. It was super fun. Sadly, one of my co-hosts was not able to actually join us because they're 
Wi-Fi was not working very well. Um, apparently mine wasn't working very well either until I moved into my room, which was not as much fun because I have microfiber sheets, which are not, they're not terrible, like when I go to bed at 10 o'clock at night, but uh, it's still a little hot in my room. That bed does not breathe. My legs were so sweaty by the time we were done. I was just like, oh, this is so uncomfortable. I don't like it. So hopefully my Wi-Fi will be better next time around. Oh, all right. So I'm going to start working on tomorrow's vlog because I would like to get the Voltathon, Voltathon, I would like to get the Voltathon vlog up relatively, you know, in time. So that means tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I haven't made any more pro- I, I'm, uh, I think, 100 pages from the end of Gallagher Girls. I think I'm only going to get through four books this week. Um, I don't think I'm getting through either of the graphic novels unless, I don't know, a, a miracle happens and my boss texts me the next hour or so telling me to take tomorrow off because, I don't know, something happened to the warehouse and the warehouse is unusable. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Hey, look at me wrapping up a readathon before work. I'm not gonna do a full like thoughty thoughty wrap up because I want to why is this this thing is driving me nuts. I'm not gonna go into too many thoughts because I want to do a full wrap up for Voltathon um like an actual like video. So I'm just gonna tell you I'm just gonna tell you what we got through and we'll go into like what prompts we'll deal with that in the wrap up. So anyways First book we finished was Enchanté by Gita Talese. I gave this three stars. Enjoyed it. Was not, there There were some historical things that I had issues with. And that's all I'm going to say about it until, like, that's, those are, you've, you've already heard a lot of my thoughts about this book. This book I finished was our group book, Renegades, which I absolutely adore. It's, I just, it's still one of my favorite books. And I think, like, depending on how Supernova goes, it could end up migrating to that shelf. And we'll actually finally have some, you know, sci-fi to keep uglies company it won't just be uglies by itself um i'm not sure how what we're gonna do with scott westerfeld in that well i need more room on that shelf anyways scott westerfeld um anyways i don't know why he and ali carter are like tied together in my mind but they are it's weird uh so gave this five stars i love it it is one of my favorite like it, it was one of my favorite books the year i discovered it so we're gonna we're gonna go with that i i appreciate a lot of it I appreciate it so much more now that I've read the second book and like I'm rereading it. The books just get better on rereads. That's why I love rereading books and I don't understand people who don't reread them because they just, they get better when you know what's going on. All right? Maybe that's why I don't mind spoilers so much. The next book I finished was There's Something About Sweet by San Diamanon. I gave this five stars. I absolutely, it was just delightful. It was wonderful. I have so many thoughts about it and we will be having like a dedicated review for this book because it, it deserves one. The final book I finished was I'll t I Tell You I Love You But Then I'd Have to Kill You. I managed to finish this at like a midnight last night. So it was bad. I, I would have finished it earlier except I got distracted on Twitter or something. I don't remember. I was doing some phone, something on my phone. Zip. That is my reading vlog for Voltathon. Thank you to everyone who participated. I had so much fun doing this. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Um, I will have the live show linked somewhere. Just keep in mind, it's not it's not suitable for little ears because some of my friends, um, they didn't get the warning in time. I, I forgot to warn them that sometimes I try and keep things, you know, a little like PG-13. Um, I mean, I guess it, it would count for PG-13. I try to keep things PG for the most part on this channel. But that's fine. So much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. And for now, my friends, happy reading. And I will see you later when we will talk about more wordy, nerdy things. Bye!